Hi, my name is Teresa, and I like to think of myself as a typical Long Island mom. Oh, jeez! I have a very special gift. I talk to the dead. The spirits come to me, no matter where I go or what is happening around me. Did your mother choke on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich while trying to pet? One of the petting goats at a petting zoo? Oh my goodness! Your mother, did she eat soup with a knife, right? <laughs> so, I know it says occupied in there, but did you know there's someone else in there with you? Your father. And I feel compelled to help. This is my life. Oh, jeez. Teresa, let's get it going. I'm going as fast as I can. It takes time for me to be this pretty. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it takes that long to look like you. I want to get the spirits to come and help. <laughs> Larry, that's the last thing I want to hear from that mouth. You know I have a very big day today, and you know that makes me anxious. Oh, yeah, babe? What do you got today? I'm gonna stop by the newest camera store. I gotta keep myself updated on the newest tech. Mom, you're never gonna be updated on tech. You're a tech dinosaur. My mother is so old, there's no way she's ever gonna be able to learn tech. There's no way this ends well. And that's exactly why I'm doing it. I'm not old, I'm hip and young. Speaking of young, where's Vic? I haven't seen her much lately. She's out. She's out? Out oh, where? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Haven't you seen Vic spending so much time on her phone lately? All giggly and stuff? Here, have a look. <gasps> this is crazy! How could she not tell me? What, what if she's hurt? I'm freaking out! I can't do this. I can't focus. I... What is a mouse button? I... I don't see a mouse button. If I saw a mice anywhere, I'd freak out! So I'm sitting there, nauseous out of my mind, and then, I feel it. I sense a spirit. You, cable worker, I sense a loss in your family. I'm Teresa, and I'm a medium, which means I can speak to those who have departed from this world. Do you have a connection with your niece as a result of an uncle once removed? I, I do. Oh my god, you're for real. Uh, I keep a part of her with me at all times. Sup? Bye, niece. Okie dokie. Just some classic Long Island shenanigans, I'll tell you. So, did your uncle commit a murder? Which one? Uncle Jackie? Because my other uncle, we ostracized him because he hated gingers. Right, Uncle Jackie, not that horrible other uncle, Jesus. So, did he kill anyone? Yes, he was Jack the Ripper when he was younger. Oh my goodness, we got an old sore on these parts, don't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Unfortunately, he died like eight seconds before you came in. He's right over there. We talked about this. We never know when our spirits leave this world. We can only hope they have a message for us. Let's talk to you now. He has a message for you. What do you connect with the word plethora? <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot. I'm glad Teresa read me. It changed my life and let me find out my, my step-uncle once removed is still out there. Watch out, 1800s with Victorian English women. Well, now that I'm up to date on tech, and I even know what a wifey is, and trust me, I know a lot about being a wifey already, let me tell you. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna meet the boy that's been dating my Vic. Whatever my parents told you about Casper, it's not true. He's just a friend. For now. Okay, where is this kid? I mean, he's keeping us waiting for dinner. Yeah, I'm a big first impression guy, and this right here, not a good first impression. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, no, no. it should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. You no, know, your mom scares me, but you know, we should be good. Tell me where that is. Yeah. <gasps> there he is! I'm so excited to see my babies today. I'm just. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've missed you so much. Oh my god, what are you princess. doing today? Oh my goodness. I've needed this so badly. Oh my goodness. And who are you, sweetheart? Uh, my name's Casper. I uh, dress to impress. <laughs> I love this idiot! Oh my goodness. <laughs> he looks pale as a ghost. I love this kid. I love him so much. Okay, let's all take a seat, everybody. I just needed this dinner so bad. Oh. What do you want to talk to me, sweetheart? What's Mom, wrong? can you just turn on the spirits for today? I just want to have a nice- Hush, hush, hush. I know what's best for you, sweetheart. Let's go take a seat. 
the dinner table. My daughter just called me a landlubber? This is crazy. All right, all right. I admit, I am a ghost. But I can't bear to see a family torn apart like this. Calling someone a landlubber? That's crazy. I told you all, I know when there are spirits, especially in my own household. But what is this message? Because usually I'm the one giving the messages. Is it about treating my children equally? I mean, being a better wife? I mean, <laughs> it can't be about my hairspray or anything. So it's obviously like... It's about the hairspray. Um, it's polluting the ghost world and everyone is leaving and killing businesses. And no, thank you for the message for my kids. Bye. Whew. What a long day. Another 24 hours of balancing life as a mom and a Long Island medium. Join me next episode as I try to read my mother's dead cat.